Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And for this video, I would like to talk about muscle. This is the beginning video for talking about muscle. Um, one of my favorite questions to ask as an essay question on exams is what is and why do you have A blank system and of course the blank would be filled in by whatever body system we're covering or body systems we're covering for that test in this case it's the muscular so first of all what is it it's all muscle tissue including the three major types of muscle tissue, skeletal and skeletal muscle is attached usually to bones and those are the muscles that help us move the bones. Yeah, another tissue is cardiac muscle tissue. Cardiac muscle tissue is only found in the heart and its major job is to pump the blood. And then lastly there's smooth muscle. Smooth muscle, the majority of it is wrapped around tubed organs such as the digestive tract and the blood vessels. And in terms of its jobs, there's a lot of different jobs for smooth muscle. Um, around the vessels, it helps to maintain the size of the lumen of the vessel, which helps to control blood pressure. Um, in the digestive tract, the smooth muscle squishes the food along the tube and also does other movements that encourage mechanical digestion. And on your skin, there's smooth muscle that makes up the erector pili muscles, which give us the goosebumps and make our hair stand on end. So that's what it is tissue-wise. And then also name some muscles. Um, so you might mention includes muscles like D, and then pick your muscles that you want to do, maybe biceps, brachii, uh, brachioradialis, rectus abdominis, pectoralis muscles. Just name some of the muscles so that I know that you get what this system is. So that's the what is it part. And I'm going to erase this to give myself room and then go to the why do you have one part. There are four major reasons to have a muscular system. The first one is the first one that comes into my head, and that's movement. Outward movement that we see, locomotive movement, like the moving of my arms and legs when I walk, um, that kind of movement, but also the movement of substances inside of the body. As I mentioned earlier, cardiac muscle's job is to pump the blood. So without that muscle, you wouldn't get blood moving around the body. Um, smooth muscle also does movement. It moves the food along the digestive tract, as I mentioned earlier. It moves the hairs on your skin to be erect. So movement. The next one is stability. I can move my arm because of the muscles, and then I can cause my arm to hold still. I can stabilize it by contracting muscles to keep it still. When you stand erect, you, st you contract muscles to keep the skeleton stabilized. And you can imagine what would happen if you just decided to stand up and then relax all of your muscles. You start to fall, but ow, be careful because that hurts. Um, so stability. To control openings. What comes into my head here are sphincters. These are circular bits of muscle wrapped around the digestive tract and the urinary tract. And the sphincters can close to prevent a substance from moving along the digestive tract. 
Um, for example, the top of your stomach has a cardiac sphincter or gastroesophageal sphincter, and that sphincter at the top of the stomach, its job is to prevent acidic stomach contents from coming up into the esophagus. If that sphincter does not work right, then acidic contents will come up into the esophagus and cause esophagitis. It's called gastroesophageal reflux, reflux disorder. Um, for the urinary tract, there are sphincters at the base of your bladder that prevent you from peeing your pants. And at the end of the digestive tract in the anus, there's sphincters, and you probably get the point. OK, so controlling openings. The last one is heat production. Humans are warm-blooded animals. We require a core temperature, the in, very deep inside of the body. The temperature should be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And usually the air outside is cooler than that. So we need a heat source to maintain that 100 degrees. That major heat source is the muscular system. So those are the four main reasons to have a muscular system. And I already explained what it was earlier. So as long as you paid attention and maybe took some notes, you should be able to answer that essay question pretty good. As always, if there's any questions or comments you'd like to make, please feel free to call me or email me. And thank you very much for watching.